In Merch 51, I showed you those golden wings I got. Well, today I'm going to talk about them, because they're a pretty sought-after item on most worlds. So these wings in particular, they're from Yule 2014, and they were the first 2 million mount ever created, and also the first 85% shot mount ever created. It has a high health and energy region of 80, it's a proc skill of 1500, and as a give skill, it's a 600 damage energy shield. It does pretty good auto damage with 30 physical and 150 cold. And 1500 evade everything. So it's basically a better dragon staff. In order to get that much evade naturally, you have to be level 300 and max out all your abilities. Which is crazy to think about, isn't it? But it is also the first level 125 mount. So it's kind of a high requirement, but... These stats definitely make it worth it. The mount itself, gold stardust effect, and it's the long wings. The cheaper mounts from that event were only the first half, but the fancy mounts have this part too. Pretty neat. So uh, let's test out the attack. It has nice range. And shoots two orbs out at the enemy. So let's see if we can get the proc or not. And this is a great caster mount. Because when you're casting crap, you at least have a usable auto to use in the meantime. Especially for ice mages. And it's better that it's cold damage too. But the nature of procs. Yeah, see, one. Yeah. So it can go off at times, but it's completely random. Let's take one quick look at our current evasion. Yeah, look at that. Almost everything is 2,000, some higher. Now one thing I was messing around with earlier for fun, watch how many of these things I can evade. Landslide, evade, and slide, hit, quake, hit, landslide, come on, all chance based but still a nice chance that I evade it, boulder toss, no, I wonder why some of them use it immediately and some of them don't. Evade. But normally I would not opt for defense or evade, but this is a great chance that you can see here with my example. I evaded one of those. Nope. Evade. Let's see. Now we're going over here to check something. It's along the way. Evade. Alright, let's stop messing around with these guys. I have a little guest to help us out. Your mirror's up. He's just standing there, minding his own business. But we could show you an example here. All this stuff will stack. So if you're a mage, you can really, really, really abuse this energy shield thing by having three energy shields up. Three. Maybe even four if you want to double E shield up. But yeah, check this out. Let him call everything over. He's got nothing for me. Come on. See? Oh, no. But yeah, you can absorb a lot of damage that way. And why am I dead? Okay. But, now that we talked about these wings, let's talk about some of the other ones. So, there was not only shot mounts, but there was also chest mounts too. And I'm pretty sure all of them, or at least most of them, had this long wing variant. 
and the higher up ones like legendary and mythic had the stardust effect and did that firebolt really just hit me from across the world eh most shop mounts had the small variant though and the level 50 wing mount in particular is also the best level 50 mount in the game and most people say that this is the best mount in the game for normal mounts I say the Night Flyer is up there too, but it's widely agreed that this is OP. So all in all, great mount. If you see it, buy it if you can afford it. But that's about all I got to talk about. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it.